So what we have here are two brand new Vic Homa roller coasters. We've got the STC up there, Nafiana Force, which is about to go down its drop. And then that's joined by Quest, which is a Vekoma family boomerang. Quite a sprawling layout as well, which is nice to see. And they interact with each other. Look how close the tracks get to each other. There's gonna be some fantastic interactions. I'm quite looking forward to this. So I have to say, despite the five minute queue, they are really rattling out the trains. And look at this station building here. Yeah, this looks really nice around here. They've done a really good job. I'll tell you what, the views you get of these roller coasters from this queue line are just so impressive. It really does take you right into the middle of the layout over a little uh, pond here. And look, we are just surrounded by track. This is really well put together here. I'm surprised more parks haven't gone for this Vekoma kind of double package because it looks fantastic. You get a thrill coaster and a family coaster bundled in. So should we go ride Nafiana Force? I'll tell you what, I'll even take you on ride with me. Happens to the best of us. Join the Nafiana Force queue line for a front row ride. Let's have a chat about how that rode because I was uh, I was pretty impressed with that overall. Uh, I will start with saying it's definitely a bit of a judder there. I, I was sat at the back, which gave some fantastic drag off the drop, like that really did whip you in quite a number of places throughout the ride. But yeah, definitely a bit of a shuffle on the, towards the back of the train. Nothing too noticeable, nothing too damaging, but it is there, and so gotta mention it. But there were some really nice elements. There was an inversion about halfway through, which might be one of the smoothest corkscrews I think I've ever taken, especially on an invert. Um, it has lap bars, which obviously do enhance the experience as well. Uh, unfortunately, Quest wasn't running at the same time, so I didn't get any lovely uh, interaction with that. But on the whole, I was really impressed with that. It's very whippy, it's very snappy, it feels quick in places. <laughs> Well, front row on Nafiana Force was also really, really good. 
uh, really forceful at the front. Obviously, you didn't get the pull on the drop, but it was still a very forceful drop. Um, some nice moments of airtime. Do still feel a bit of rattle in different places, but I mean, you can abide that when you've got a really, really good roller coaster, and I think that's really good. So, hope to see more of those pop up because they've got to be pretty good value for parks, and especially when you combine it with another roller coaster from Vekoma as well. I'm surprised more kind of small to mid level parks don't do it. So heading into the quest next, which is the family boomerang. That was good timing, wasn't it? Well, hopefully we'll see it come over. So it is clear they're still doing quite a lot of work on a Tiananog area and from the top of the lift hill for Quest there, right just behind the toilets here, there's all kinds of development going on. So hopefully that's a sign that Emerald Park will continue to grow this area and that there's more exciting developments to come. Well Quest was good, I think you always know what you're getting with the Vekoma family boomerang. I mean they're so common now that they've become the coaster equivalent of the Zamperla Disco. But that was really good. Um, much like I predicted, it does ride very similar to Echo the Light Explorers at Energylandia, but that is one of the best boomerangs there is, so can't really grumble with that. Um, obviously the interaction, seeing uh, Nafiana Force fly over the station while I was waiting, that was also really cool. So yeah, I love what they've done here. They put it together really nicely. You can get some great views of the roller coasters off-ride as well, which is something I always appreciate as a content creator. on the front row makes such a difference because A, you get the full force of the pace of the vehicle, but also as you go up the spike, you go up through the castle and you do really notice it at the front. So yeah, I think one of the better became of family boomerangs for sure. And Celtic Dreamer fills out the lineup here in Tiernanog, a classic wave swinger. You can't really go wrong with these, always a crowd favorite. So I've just had another three rides on Nafiena Force. That is a really, really good roller coaster. Just about every seat on the train, it feels forceful. You feel drag, whip, tons of force. It does have a bit of a judder in some places and a noticeable rattle in others, but it's so much fun that it sort of gets away with it. Now I'd imagine those things may deteriorate in time, but the way it's riding now, it's. Uh, like I say, it's such a fun coaster. It's so whippy, it feels faster than it should be. You really get dragged over that drop. This is a really good roller coaster, and I think there are so many small to mid-sized parks that could benefit from something like this. I'm looking at Portland's Park, I'm looking at Drayton Manor. Yeah, I really like this, and I think of all the roller coasters that opened in the UK and Ireland so far this year, well, I think we've had all of them now, bar the new lift and launch of Drayton Manor, which we don't have a, an opening date for yet, but. I'd put this at number two. 
Now there are parts of Emerald Park that could be accused of lacking atmosphere due to a lack of music and a lack of audio. Tiernanog is not one of them. We've got a really nice Celtic soundtrack that you hear throughout the area. It's not so loud, it's overbearing, but it's very noticeable. It does add quite a lot of atmosphere.